Is your doctor killing you? No, seriously. If you're thinking about living on the road full time, you're only going to see your doctor maybe once a year. Your doctor. Otherwise, you know, if you need to see a doctor, it's probably going to be in the emergency ward at a, at a local hospital, wherever you're at. So again, I ask your primary care physician, is, is your doctor killing you? Does he like to prescribe drugs? Hey, you've got diabetes. You need to take, oh, I don't know. Uh, what's Pick any diabetes medicine. You need to take that. Yeah, you have high blood pressure? Here, take some pills for your high blood pressure. What else ails you? Here, take some pills for that. Now, by the time you're taking all of these pills that your wonderful primary care physician is, is prescribed for you, how many of those pills do you know um, aren't, not, they're not playing well together? Out of all those pills that your doctor prescribes you, how do you know if there are no conflicts between those pills? Since you've been taking your meds, uh, do you get ringing in the ears? Do your joints hurt? You know, what, what's going on with you? Well, one thing your doctor will not really discuss with you is what you should and should not eat, okay? Should and should not eat. Don't eat sugar. Don't eat it. Oh, speaking of that, time for me to have a carbonated beverage. Today I'm drinking LaCroix. And no, this isn't a commercial for LaCroix. It would be nice if they would give me free uh, beverages. Uh, ice cold, bubbly. But if you look at the ingredients, it says uh, carbonated water, naturally essenced. What does that mean? Well, there's some lemon flavoring in there. There's no sugar. There's no caffeine. Uh, there's no sodium. It's just bubbly water. For years, I drank Pepsi. Loved Pepsi. And then I decided, well, I like cola better. A little heavier syrup. Nice flavor. And then I thought, well, look at how fat I'm getting from all of the uh, rotten food and sugar and beverages I'm consuming. What do you do? Well, you stop consuming sugar. Stop consuming Pepsi. Stop consuming Coca-Cola. Get the diet stuff, right? Well, now what do you do? It's got all of those chemicals in it, aspartame and sucralose and all those. What are, what are, what are they? And then let's let's back up way back before you even get sugar in the water or in the pop or in the syrup. Where are they getting the liquid? It's called water and it comes from our earth. And all of the water all over our earth has a chemical in it known as PFOS. You can thank Teflon for that or Dow Chemical. Was it Dow Chemical that, that, that uh, d designed that? Well, it's, uh, if you ingest it, it's not good for you. I, I don't know if it's cancer causing or, or what else it does to your body, but it's not good for you. So is your doctor killing you? Is your doctor telling you, look, you need to eat salad. You need to eat meat. You need to eat proteins. Don't eat sugar. Don't eat potatoes. Sugar bombs. Those are terrible. Um, don't eat rice. Don't eat flour. Is your doctor telling you that or is he just giving you pills? Well, I had a run in with my doctor last week. Uh, I actually recorded my uh, physical, my, my appointment for my physical, which I never had because he was mad at me because I decided not to take the statins that he was telling me to take. And he became belligerent and mean and he wouldn't let me speak. And I finally had to tell him what I thought of him. 
And then he didn't like that. So he told me that I couldn't uh, be as patient anymore, like I wanted to be as patient anymore. Within a couple of hours, I had a new doctor, a new doctor. And the doc, hey, I said, hey, doc, this is what happened with my old doctor. He said, oh, I don't care if you don't take any of the pills I prescribed. You come here, I give you my opinion, you can take it or leave it. That's, that's what a doctor is for. A doctor is not your adv advocate. They're in business to make money. They're in bed with pharmaceutical companies because they're in bed with the medical industry. So where do you get good information? You don't. You don't. You just don't. You have to believe or not believe what you hear. So are you your best advocate? Or are you going to let somebody else be your advocate? Somebody who is motivated to tell you to do something that they're ultimately going to profit from. That's my video for today. Just thought I would raise that question with you. Uh, the very few of you who do look in on my channel. But please um, like and subscribe and leave a comment. Trying to grow this channel, so help me out if you can. I appreciate it. That's all I got for now. Thanks for stopping in to see the doctor. <laughs> I'm not a doctor.